Oscar Super Saloon Racing started in the South Island, so it's fitting that the first round of the 2008 Prince Stop New Zealand Oscar Championship should start at the spiritual home here at Ruapuna in Christchurch. The battle continues for island domination between the best from the north and the south. the grids for the first race on Sunday for the Hatton Horse Float Oscars. Graham Barnes starts up front alongside Darren Greenslade. Raymond Hart next, followed by Stephen King-Turner, Russell Jew and Jeff Washburn make up the top six. It's a split grid. Full reverse. First race on Sunday. Raymond Hart with a flyer off the second row using all of that four-wheel drive traction from the Godzilla's Nissan to its advantage, through to the lead goes Hart. Sliding into second is Graham Barnes. Didn't start the first race of the weekend with problems, so good to see the Capri driver back there. Then it's Jeff Washburn and the big Walkinshaw replica Commodore. Here come the quick guys. Split grids, reverse start. Mark Burgess having some problems off the line there in the parker. Number 56 Mazda, but it's car five. First away, Chris Hatton. Some very, very quick cars in this lineup. Lane Etwell and the number 16. Pontiac GTO is we're on board with car number five, Chris Hatton. The Hatton horse floats Camaro. Clear track up ahead. So he's the first of the quicker cars to come through. A big difference in lap time, something like 13 seconds. In fact, uh, 22 seconds covering slowest to fastest. Tim Rooney there in one of the Mustangs. And we go back to Andy Greenslade in the fearsome Ford Mustang Cobra. Car nine there, Paul Williams. Chevy Camaro. Tim Rooney pulling out to pass the GT3 GTO of Lane Etwell front runner in the GT class, GT3 class here in the South Island. Cameron Jones just going through shot there. One of the favorites for the championship. Has struggled a little bit this weekend. But those battles continue two and three wide down through the sweeper. Car number 28 there, Matthew Cronin. Very, very quick little Toyota Levin. As Tim Rooney now switches his attentions to the back of the Camaro, he's going to look down the inside and one he blazes past. So the first of the quicker cars through is Darren Greenslade just up ahead. The little Toyota Starlet is having some fun out there. Just lets Tim Rooney through as Hatton's going to go by on the inside. On board the number five Camaro of Chris Hatton chasing down Tim Rooney, Jeff Washbourne. Here battling with the 92. That's Russell Jew. Russell Jew out of fielding in the North Island. Jeff Washbourne, of course, from Christchurch. Very impressive looking Walkinshaw replica Commodore. Paul Williams just going through shot. Austin McKinley as well. Andy Greenslade starting to make his presence felt now in the big bedroom as Cobra Mustang. He's got by Hatton as well. There's Austin McKinley in the number 51. So this now is the battle for the lead. Jeff Washburn. Austin McKinley around the outside into second in the 51. Making his return to the sport after a couple of year layoff. McKinley now down the inside of the Commodore. Completes the pass before Pohol. So it's McKinley. Washboard. Going off track there is the number 18 of Graham Barnes. So his weekend goes from bad to worse. And speaking of bad weekends, no sign of the reigning New Zealand Oscar champion, Colin Dawson. Out before the weekend started destroyed an engine here on testing on Friday. So 
And that was it for the weekend for the 1NZ from Invercargill. Colin Dawson, current 3NZ, Tim Rooney. Certainly a guy that enjoys his racing. It's Chris Hatton there goes to work on Raymond Hart. Hart has a lot of fun with this car. He's also racing in the Kumo Sports Saloons around the South Island. So Hatton goes by him as Tim Rooney continues to hold off the fire-breathing Ford Mustang Cobra. Vandy Greenslater runs a little bit wide off the sweep. A car normally driven. We're used to seeing Luke Yulden driving this car in the Oscars and the Super Saloons. Tim Rooney's doing a very, very good job here to hold him off at the moment. Andy Greenslade normally driving a Camaro, but they've had some problems with that car. So uh, Andy jumped aside, moved over into the Mustang. And the Greenslade team have also got a brand new Jaguar Trans Am car getting built. Paul Darren Greenslade, who's out there having a lot of fun and a ball in that little Toyota Starlet that we saw a little bit earlier on. All right, we've got the battle for the lead coming up here very, very shortly. The two Mustangs are right in the mix. Austin McKinley has got a bit of a breakout on this group. This is the battle for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Washbourne. Russell Jew. Tim Rooney. And Andy Greenslade. Greenslade there in the bedroom is number 31. Mustang Cobra as Rooney looks down the inside. Russell Jew. Also right in that battle. There's the gap up to the race leader. Washbourne leaving the tyre marks on the racetrack with wheel spin out of the run onto the old back straight at Ruapuna. Tim Rooney, Rooney though, picks him off on the inside. Into second. Goes the three and Z of Tim Rooney. They're three wide. Here comes Andy Greenslade. He's going to blast past the Commodore. Should be third here. So Rooney up to second, Greenslade third. Fastest lap of the race, a 126-1 for Andy Greenslade from Tauranga. Chasing down Tim Rooney, who's uh, in the low 27s. Austin McKinley just up ahead, lapping in the one minute 30. So uh, a good three seconds of difference between these cars. McKinley doing the job at the start of the first race on Sunday, the second race of the weekend. The Hatton Horse Float, Oscars, McKinley, Rooney, Greenslade, Washbourne having a big battle for fourth with Russell Jew. That's a good North Island, South Island battle. They're developing on track. But it's the beautifully presented number 51 of Austin McKinley that leads, but I think it's just a matter of time before he comes un under pressure. In the S with Camaro from the two Fords, Tim Rooney and Andy Greenslade. And this is the last lap. Austin McKinley, can he hold on to it? Just one corner left to negotiate. The Eswa, Chevy Camaro, with a pair of Mustangs chasing him down. McKinley runs wide off the sweeper. That's opened the door up the inside for Tim Rooney. Can Rooney hold on down to the line? It's close. Who is it? That is so, so close. Is it Andy Greenslade or is it Tim Rooney? No doubts that Austin McKinley was third. The rest of the field, Jeff Washbourne, Russell Jew, and Chris Hatton back there. And it was Tim Rooney who held on by just five one hundredths of a second from Andy Greenslade. Austin McKinley third, Jeff Washbourne fourth. Then it's Russell Jew and Chris Hatton. Two years out of the seat, first time this weekend in it. So second race, quite happy to uh, finish third. We've had uh, a few issues with the car, but it's all coming good now. So a uh, bit of uh, old time and getting back in the seat and having a bit of fun and uh, learn how to drive the car again. But yeah, no, having, having a bit of fun. Conditions are a little bit cooler this morning from the uh, the heat of the first race yesterday afternoon. Major changes to the car? Yeah, we did some suspension changes and um, a little bit of driver changing. Uh, just a style of dr driving, but we're still dialing ourselves into the car. So a bit more time doing that and we should be uh, up with the fast boys, you know. We're pretty happy where we are now. Um, sort of thing going ahead. We, we're looking forward to next season, maybe the championship.